with Jason Dean. Greetings and salutations. No, but if you're nice, I'll let you buy me a slushie. I see you know your convenience speak pretty well. Yeah, well, uh, I've been moved around all my life. Dallas, Baton Rouge, Vegas, Sherwood, Ohio. There's always been a snappy snack shack. Any town, any time, you can pop a ham and cheese in the microwave and feast on a turbo dog. Keeps me sane. <clears throat> we'll just concoct ourselves a little hangover cure that'll uh, induce her to spew red, white, and blue, then. <laughs> what about, like, milk and orange juice? What's the upchuck factor on that? I'm a no-rust build-up man myself. Would be a dick. Stuff will kill her. I know we can cook up some soup and put it in a Coke. That's, that's pretty sick, eh? Now, should it be chicken noodle or bean with bacon? Put a lid on that stuff. See, we go with Big Blue here. What are you talking about? She would never drink anything that looked like that anyway. So we'll, uh, put it in this. She won't be able to see what she's drinking. Let me get a cup, jerk. Okay. Milk and orange juice. Hmm. Well, maybe we could, like, cough up a phlegm globber or something. Mm. <coughs> no. Oh, well. Milk and orange juice will do quite nicely. Mm. You chicken? James, Kelsa, please. Hear about Veronica's affection for regurgitation. Heather, I think last night we both said a lot of stuff we didn't mean. Did we? How the hell did you get in here? Um, Veronica need to have a hangover, so uh, I whipped this up for you. It's a family recipe. What did you do, put a phlegm globber in it or something? I'm not gonna drink that piss. I knew this stuff would be too intense for her. Intense. Grow up. You think I'll drink it just because you call me chicken? Just give me the cup, jerk. whole week, not just an hour. Write the school board. Watch it, Heather. You might be digesting food there. Yeah, where's your urge to purge? Fuck it. 